Hey everyone, it's me Gavin Vengeance and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be making some predictions for patch 3.4 of Genshin Impact, which should be just around the corner. I'm thinking we're probably going to end up getting a special program covering patch 3.4 maybe sometime later in the week or possibly the weekend, if everything stays on schedule as I'm predicting. But I do know a couple of things that are definitely going to be in the patch, and that's two of the upcoming characters. The first one's going to be the five-star Dendro character that we've all been waiting for, Alhatham. I'm definitely going to be trying to get as many constellations as possible for this character because he looks absolutely incredible, and I just love his personality and the story and everything, so no-brainer for me. Uh, the other character is a four-star character known as Yao Yao. I think that's how it's pronounced. She's a four-star Dendro character as well, and I think she hails from Liyua, which kind of coincides with my first prediction for the patch which is I believe that we're going to end up getting the return of the Lantern Rite Festival uh, they tend to do it usually around like Chinese New Year and everything which I think is coming up soon so I'm thinking that that's probably going to be something that's going to be coming back and usually what goes hand in hand with the Lantern Rite Festival is that they usually kind of do like this uh, huge bonus for the players and everything uh, normally a 7 day login bonus which usually results in us getting a 10 pull so I'm thinking that's probably going to return they also kind of do a uh, free four-star character as long as you participate in some events and collect some sort of currency. Um, so I'm thinking that again, we'll probably have our shot at a free four-star character with the uh, Lantern Rite Festival. And again, with the Lantern Rite Festival, this usually contains a lot of like different uh, miniature events for us to do throughout the weeks. Um, so I'm thinking, again, we're probably going to end up seeing that. I think that's a no-brainer. This is a pretty safe bet in terms of like a prediction and everything. Uh, again, going based off of last year, we also got a couple of character outfits which we haven't had in recent patches um i think the last one that we got was like the five star outfit for uh deluke i believe and last year we ended up getting two outfits uh one was for kaching and the other one was for ning wang so i'm thinking this year if i had to make a prediction in terms of who's gonna get them uh probably shang ling if not shang ling maybe beido that'd be really cool to see i'd really really I'll keep my fingers crossed for, for an outfit for Beto. She's one of my favorite looking characters in the game, and I just kind of want to see her in like a different getup rather than like, you know, the pirate uniform. Um, but I, I don't know. That That's my my guess for maybe the four-star character. And if there's a five-star character that's also going to get an outfit, possibly Ganyu. Now, the reasoning behind my guesses for Shang Ling and Ganyu mainly is just because of their relation with Yao Yao. If you guys have followed any of the in-store uh, or in-story dialogue or any of the character dialogue and their uh, character profiles and everything, you will know that Yao Yao has been mentioned previously. And normally that's just tied to like Shang Ling. And again, she works as an assistant for Ganyu from what we know. So those are my reasonings behind thinking that those outfits may return. Um, in terms of like story quests and everything, I feel like the main story quest is probably just going to be focused around the lantern right and then maybe possibly like you know each uh character getting their own story quest as well like al haytham and then yao yao and if yao yao doesn't get her own story quest then i'm predicting we'll probably see a couple of hangout quests because it's been a long time since we've had hangout quests as well um i, th I don't even remember the last ones that we got but like they were forever ago so i'm thinking there's probably going to be some sort of like hangout quest return um in terms of like other events possibly theater mechanicus because we haven't seen that in a while as well um i'm really again gonna keep holding on to that hope that we see the return of labyrinth warriors at some point but i don't think that that's probably going to be one of the events that returns regrettably but if it does i would love to see that come back in like a more permanent fashion uh again in terms of like relation to yao yao which i think is going to be a focal point in the story uh she's also got some relations with madame uh ping so possibly some more serenity pot stuff which i don't know 100 percent if we're actually going to get that or not uh that one's just kind of going out on a limb I, I mean recently we got like the copy paste function from other people's serenity pot so maybe that one will be on the back burner um i'm not really sure again if there's going to be any addition for like maybe new cards or something for genius invocation tcg uh that i think is probably a pretty safe bet if we do get maybe a couple more like character cards or maybe even just a, a few like random like deck cards like event cards or whatever um because i know they're really going to try to build upon that game as it is the permanent edition um in terms of like a different game mode for us to play and everything so probably see a couple new cards or something introduced there um in terms of like anything else last year we ended up getting the introduction of Ankanamiya 
and I don't know if we're going to get a brand new area, but if we do get something in terms of like a brand new area, I'm guessing it may be just like another a section of like the desert or the rainforest or something in Sumeru, possibly. That'd be really cool to see. I'd like a new area to explore. Um, I think it was... Well, it's probably two patches ago, right? Since we got like the, more of the desert content and everything. So maybe we'll see that. Um, but yeah, I think that's pretty much my safe bets in terms of predictions. In terms of like banners and who we're going to see reran and everything. Um, last year they did Zhongli and Ganyu. I'm not sure if we're going to get a Zhongli return, but I think it's very probable that we might end up getting like Ganyu, possibly Hu Tao or Shenha because they haven't been reran in quite a while. Um, so my bets are probably more along the lines of like Hu Tao, Shenha getting reran. Um, I don't know who's going to actually coincide with Al Haytham in terms of like the five star character, but probably one of those three characters at some point is going to rear their head again. So maybe those are my guesses for the banners. Um, I don't know if we're going to get new domains or anything. It, it usually kind of happens with the introduction of new characters. So maybe we'll get another domain or whatever to give us a couple more artifact sets for Al Haytham and Yao Yao. So those are my guesses for the upcoming patch. I don't know. I haven't seen any leaks or anything. I don't look up that stuff. So maybe we'll see those things. I'll keep my fingers crossed. But if you guys have your own thoughts about what we may see, let me know down in the comments below. Um, those are my predictions. We will have to find out when the special program airs, which again should be in the very near future. So if you guys want to watch that with me or see my reaction to it, you can find it right here on the channel. Thank you as always for watching and I'll see you all for the next one. Take care. Peace.